Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will solve one very interesting example based on amplitude shift king. So let me read the question first. See in question, we have been given with available bandwidth of 100 kilohertz that is ranging from 200 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz. If we modulate our data using binary ASK with a roll of factor of 1, what are the carrier frequency and bit rate? That is the question. So here we need to identify carrier frequency and bit rate. So first of all, I'll explain carrier frequency calculation. See carrier frequency calculation is based on communication technique. So first of all, let me consider half duplex communication technique. If you talk about half duplex communication, then you need to understand how communication happens. See in half duplex communication, if you have two devices, then at a time only one device is allowed to transmit the data. Like if you have satellite and mobile, then here if mobile is transmitting data to satellite, at that time satellite can only receive the data. And as if satellite is transmitting data to mobile, then mobile cannot transmit, mobile can only receive the data. Means at a time only one device is allowed to transmit the data. So here if you have bandwidth of 100 kilohertz, then carrier frequency will be at center. Why the reason is at a time complete bandwidth is utilized by one device, right? So here carrier frequency that will be at center that will be 300 plus 200 divided by 2 means that will be 250 kilohertz. Now let me explain carrier frequency for full duplex communication. So first of all you need to understand what is full duplex communication. See in full duplex communication if you have two modules then both of these modules can transmit and receive the data at a time. Like as if mobile is transmitting the data to satellite, at the same time, satellite can also transmit the data to mobile. So here complete bandwidth that is divided into two parts. So here we have bandwidth of 100 kilohertz ranging from 200 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz. Then see we need to bisect this bandwidth in two segments. One is uplink that is there from lower frequency range means it is there from 200 to 250 and second link will be down link that will be there from 250 to 300 kilohertz. So for uplink communication carrier frequency that will be 250 plus 200 divided by 2 that will be 225 kilohertz and for down link carrier frequency that will be 300 plus 250 divided by 2 so that has to be 275 kilohertz right so first of all you need to understand which communication technique that is given to us here in question we don't have communication technique given so you can consider this half duplex communication right now i'll explain you bit rate calculation so first of all let me note down the data See here in data we have bandwidth and this bandwidth that is of 100 kilohertz and right now we are considering half duplex communication. We have binary ASK. Binary ASK is having only two symbol. One symbol is there for logic 0 and second symbol is there for logic 1. What it means? It means number of bits per symbol that is 1. Right number of bits per symbol is 1. The reason is binary is having only two symbols and for one symbol you need only one bit, right? For 0 there is logic 0 and for 1 there is logic 1, right? So two symbols are there means n is equals to 1 and here roll of factor is given. Roll of factor that depends on filtering. So here alpha is given that is 1. Now based on this data, one can easily understand calculation of baud rate. Let me explain that. See in theory portion I have covered this. Bandwidth that is 1 plus alpha 
into baud rate. So here baud rate small r that will be bandwidth divided by 1 plus alpha. Here bandwidth is 100 kilohertz and here alpha is 1. So 100 by 2 that will be 50 right and here data is there in terms of kilo. See this bandwidth that is there in terms of kilohertz. So here this data that is kilo baud right. So baud rate is 50 kilo baud. Now from baud rate one can understand bit rate. See bit rate is capital R that will be baud rate into small n. So here baud rate is 50 and n is number of bits per symbol. For binary n is 1. So n is 1. So we have 50 kbps bit rate. Right. So if you consider your communication technique to be half duplex in that case here we have a baud rate of 50 kbps. Right. And if you have full duplex communication technique in that case for uplink and downlink you need to calculate separate baud rate but obviously it will be half of given calculation here baud rate is 50 right so for uplink and downlink it is getting divided into two segments it will be 50 kilo baud divided by 2 25 kilo baud and bit rate will be 25 kbps for uplink and 25 kbps for downlink right and if you go through my theoretical portion then in that i have explained you calculation of bandwidth by two equations you see one is the equation which we have used it in this example itself that is 1 plus alpha into r where alpha is role of factor that depends on filtering and second equation that was based on nyquist rate see minimum bandwidth this is the equation of minimum bandwidth that is 2fb right and this fb that is bit rate divided by 2 and here one can calculate this fb based on bit duration if you have bit duration then 1 divided by bit duration that will be fb and based on that one can directly calculate fb and then bandwidth of given communication right sometimes you may be given with data rate if data rate is given then at nyquist rate fb will be data rate divided by 2 and based on that one can calculate minimum bandwidth right so these are the equations that you should know to solve problems in competitive examination even so i have solved one simple question over here but here i have tried to cover as many concepts as possible like how to identify carrier frequency for half duplex communication and full duplex communication as well as i have explained you calculation of data rate based on role of factor but same questions can be there based on bit duration and data rate to identify bandwidth right so these are the concepts that one should know i hope you have enjoyed this still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video